so welcome Wait. back to my channel. There's <laughs> welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's Ashley and today we are doing a super dope fall <laughs> fall favorites video. I'm gonna show you a couple of my fall favorite products. I'm also gonna show you how to do a bomb eye look. And you know, I'm a little late to the party because we are definitely sliding into December real quick, but it's okay, it's still fall. It's definitely not December 20th yet, so you have time to get them fall looks in, sis. <laughs> but you can't deny that this is like a, <laughs> a really good eye look, so it's worth staying and watching the rest of the video. Anyway, <laughs> y'all, don't beat me up because this video was definitely supposed to be out two weeks before Thanksgiving. But it's okay. Anyway, y'all, Darius is over here cracking jokes, tearing this video up. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna listen to him. Fall is my favorite season because I'm a fall baby. So I love fall. I love all of the fall colors, the browns, the burgundies, all the reds, the leaves, everything is like perfect for fall. So I had to do a fall favorite video because I just had to show y'all my products. So either we're gonna use these products in the next 23 days or we're gonna be getting ready for fall 2020 so you know what you have for next year, right? Okay. Y'all know the usual order of business. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you know when the next video comes out, hopefully on time next time. <laughs> and also don't forget to follow me and keep up with updates of what's coming next. But anyway, we're going to get real deep into this look. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. Hey, so I'm actually going to go through this part pretty quick because I have a really nice eyebrow video already on my channel that you guys can watch. But I've just started using the Brow MVP by Fenty Beauty and I actually love it. It has a super weird end to it, which I was super scared to use because it's not a spoolie. But I actually think the bristle brush brings my eyebrows together really nicely i like how it keeps the hairs really close so i've been using it this fall and i actually really 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 love it um i'm using the color i think the color is dark brown i'm not really sure what the color is but i still find myself dipping back into my anastasia beverly hills just to clean my eyebrows up at the end but definitely try it out So another one of my new beauties that I have been using this fall is Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Foundation. And Beauty Bakery, let me just show you guys. They definitely win the award for packaging. You know, you guys know I'm like obsessed. Like, look at this. Oh my god, look at how it opens. Okay, y'all are not ready. Isn't this the cutest thing in the world? Like, I can not so this is gonna be like my third time using this i put it back in the box because i just love the box so much but i really love this foundation i am in the color 315w um so with the cake mix foundation you had to use the hydrate oil but because like my skin has been changing so much i haven't used the, this with the oil but i think if you have it says if you have dry skin to use the oil before, so I'm not going to use the oil today. And we're going to see how it goes. But my skin has definitely been changing. Stop. Uh, been taking different meds. So I don't really know what my skin is. Some days it's dry. Some days it's like, you know, I can fry some chicken with the oil that I get. Like, I just don't know. It's super cute. But this is the Instabake Foundation. Yes new product i feel like i i have been glowing whenever you see me with foundation the last couple of times this foundation i've been using so I feel like on camera this foundation comes off a little bit off color but 
in all honesty i think it's the light but this foundation is very exact it's very 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 lightweight which is why i like it and it's easy to work with like um whereas the cake cake mix is a little bit more dry to me like more matte i just feel like this one it, it just feels like skin i don't know i just really 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 like it and it gives me a very even look so i really like it it also when that foundation dropped a concealer dropped as well i haven't been able to get the concealer i feel like every it was sold out online and then every time i go to the store it's sold out so i haven't tried to conceal it but it also it works well with my nars um concealer and that's what i'm gonna use today because it's like trusty dusty as well and y'all know i kind of have a routine kind of like to keep things status quo and yeah, that's what I want to use today. So we're just going to keep it basic. Okay. So I found myself using Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Setting Powder um, more often now this season. I don't know why, but I feel like it gives me um, a really soft look that I've been going for. So I really like this powder. I'm usually using Beauty Bakery's powder, which is my go-to for setting powder, but I really like this powder. I just like the way it makes my face look, and I feel like it photographs very well. So. Um, I feel like I've been getting a lot of compliments on my contouring and I think this is one of the products that gets me a lot of compliments. And you just can't go wrong. It's Fenty Beauty Baby. So you just you just can't go wrong. Um, and I feel like I don't have to use a lot of powder anyway. Um, but I just, I'm using the color Banana and I just feel like it makes my face look bomb. So I'm gonna continue to do those things. It's not a new product, I use this in my full face Fenty Beauty video. All these plugs. Um, and I just love it. I really do. It's my favorite. I'm gonna plop that right there. Yes, honey. I'm just gonna go in my Beauty Blender to blend everything out um blend that powder in i feel like in the fall i am wanting things to be soft but like heavy on the eyes so like for my face i don't want to do too much but just enough like you know so i'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer Cause I want y'all to, you know, see me snatched. My face is still swollen. I mean, if you saw my last video, I told you guys like some medication I take makes my face swollen. So like my jaws, I kind of have been, you know, trying to contour those a little bit better. Like this medication makes fat deposits in your face. So like these little spots here and it feels swollen. It feels super, super weird. So, to combat that, I still been using my bronzer, which I'm almost like, I'm just bronzer. <laughs> been using it all year. I'm like, going in. Coconut is definitely, definitely a lifesaver. So, I'm just gonna use a little bit of bronzer. And I'm gonna get into the eyes. See, I've been feeling like my face has been looking more like natural. And that's what I feel like my mood is for fall. Just for my face just to look a little bit more natural like i've been doing looks that i'm not like full glam just really soft and i love it i've just been i've been getting a lot of compliments on my contouring and stuff so that is it for the face so one of my favorite fall palettes is a palette that i got last year and i didn't use it that much but i feel like i've been grabbing it and gravitating towards it more 
in the last few weeks. So my favorite palette is the Morphe 15T. Like this palette just screams fall to me. Like look at the colors. Like everything about this palette, just it just it's a whole mood. It just gives me, um, it just gives me fall vibes. Like I just feel like the colors are super cute, and it's all about those browns and those mauve v type of orangey type of colors. And we don't use it today. Also, I feel like I have to acknowledge Jackie Ina. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills partner palette because I feel like this palette gives you some of the best sultry looks and I know I did a look on it already but this crease color ginger let me let y'all see ginger and edges have given me like so much life and also credit like i just feel like these two palettes have been like my go-to's but today i might dabble a little bit in the jackie too but i'm definitely gonna go in with this morphe palette so like i told y'all i still get eyes so i've been getting trying to get better with my eyes and my eyes have changed a lot since my face has been um swollen so i have like a little more meat <laughs> up here um whatever we're gonna work with it today so the first color i'm gonna go in with is throwback this nice brown color here we're gonna throw that into the crease but i've been trying to do bolder looks like trying so we're just gonna throw it in there we're gonna see what we come up with because i'm definitely making this up as i go And these colors are pigmented, like, which a lot of Morphe palettes are. And I feel like sometimes, depending on the color, you either gotta dab it in there or you really can, like, smooth it out. But I've been getting bolder with my eyes. And I used to be so afraid to come up here. But now I find myself. Because I realize, like, when you close your eyes, I mean, when you open your eyes, you get, you know, you want to really see this eye look. So I'm really trying to get better at that, you know. It's all in the work. I'm going to throw this on both sides. It's such a pretty color, like, oh my god, I can't, I can't. I told y'all I was going to dabble a little bit, so I'm going to take credit from Jackie Ina. And I'm just going to go on that outer edge. Just a little bit. I just want to kind of get that slightly smoky eye effect. And I feel like the darker color in this palette isn't dark enough for me. You know, this color is definitely for my brown ladies. It is super dark. And I really love it. I'm just going to go on the outer edge. We're gonna take some eye primer and we're gonna do like a little crease it's not really gonna be like a real on point cut crease because honestly i don't really like doing cut creases <laughs> i feel like it brings attention to the fact that my eyes are so different from each other one of my eyes is like noticeably bigger than the other and i feel like when i do a cut crease you can see the eye that sometimes get a little lazy get it looks a little lazier with cut creases or whatever so we're just gonna keep it basic you know we're gonna get a little color on the inside but we're not doing all that work, okay? And then plus I got like T minus 20 minutes to be ready. So <laughs> we're gonna see what we come up with. We're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. Yeah, I have to do that off camera because I'm like, <laughs> I have to like coordinate my breathing when I do like prime my eyes to do anything because it is just so tough for me and it's, it frustrates me because I'm a visual artist and I, I have a steady hand but your girl is you know seriously right-handed and when I get to that left eye I got to bend I got to be in the mirror but this is what I came up with and so 
I was just paying attention to my colors, trying to figure out like, what am I going to do? What's going to be cute? Um, I figured out what I was going to do. So I'm going to go back to my 15T. I'm going to take this beautiful color here called Morphe Babe. And I'm just going to pop that all over because we're just not playing it safe anymore. And I feel like let's be bold. Let's do different colors. It's fall. Like, honey. Um, I'm just going to take that and go all over the facility. For my last color, I am going to take this beautiful color here. This is called Blend the Rules. I'm going to put that right on top of where I put Morphe Babe because it's pretty. like this y'all like it's so pretty look at this color i was gonna blend it out with the rest of the colors and then i'm gonna go in with another color i'm gonna find me some glitter to throw up here somewhere <laughs> i really really like it it's super pretty we're just gonna blend it out go back in with a little bit of credit and just kind of blend the edge of it out because I'm a busybody and I'm trying to do everything at once. I forgot to press record when I was doing the bottom of my eyes. But I just took that same crease color and came down to the bottom. And then I took a little bit more of a babe and came down here. And I just kind of fluffed everything out. So to finish this look off, I'm going to take Soleil. And I've been doing this with a lot of my makeup looks. <laughs> but Soleil is one of my favorite pal colors in this Jackie Eyner palette. I'm just going to take Soleil and pop her in the corner because what kind of look would it be if we didn't like and babe tell me i am like three minutes to get ready <laughs> he's gonna cuss me out <laughs> but it's it for the eye look so y'all life went left <laughs> and had to <laughs> don't look at me like that i had to hurry up and finish my makeup so i didn't get to record the finished look but I will tell you all the things I used so the finish on my eyes I just used the same colors at the top and I put them on my lower lash line added some mascara and some lashes I used my usual better than sex eyeliner and then for my lip I've been doing a lot of brown lips and I just feel like brown lips are in right now why well, I'm still zoomed in though I can't even see the rest of my face. <laughs> so for my lips, I've been doing a lot of brown lips. My go-to color for the fall has been Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty Unveil is so pretty and I can line my lips with it. It's super dry. So I feel like sometimes it's best to put a gloss on it, but I use it as like a liner and then I take um, Kat Von D, this color, noble and i mix these two together i feel like it's like perfect that's what i have on right now but there is like half of it off so you can't even really see it no more <laughs> so i went ahead and reapplied the lips so you guys can see it for real but for the fall all of the burgundies all the reds are in like i've been trying to find the perfect burgundy and i have not found it yet. but brown it's been like my color i used to stay away from brown but now i'm like really look cute with brown on so that's another one of my favorite fall products i feel like everybody has to have this fancy beauty gloss collection like if you don't have this i don't know what you're gonna do because you're not gonna make it through this season it has all of the pretty colors look at this that's gonna show y'all you see all the pretty colors and you know the best color in here is still gloss bomb. Um, right here. <laughs> Fussy is the my favorite. And I wear it almost every day. In any look. Whenever I get tired <laughs> and I just don't wanna put on any type of lip. 
or I just don't finish my makeup. If I'm not wearing makeup, I'm wearing pussy any season. But I really like this one here. It's called Hot Chocolate. And the first time I wore it, I was a little nervous because it is pretty pigmented. And then the last thing, two things actually, but they're both the same thing on my favorites list is this Beauty Bakery um, coffee and cocoa palette. And it is a highlight palette. Look at these highlights. Like this color right here, I've been using it a lot on my cheeks and that's what I have on my cheeks now. Um, it's called Antidepresso. Isn't it cute? The name's like Deja Bru. I can't. You're grounded. La Vida Mocha. Like, I've been using a lot of beauty bakery because they have like the cutest stuff and I just gush up everything that comes out. But this highlight here is what I have on my face. And I like to use this on my brow bone. It's my favorite. And I feel like it's like perfect for fall because all of the colors are fall colors. And of course, the creme de la creme of highlight LeBron's. I feel like it's either you use LeBron's or La Peach and you just call it a day. So half of the year you use La Peach and then the other half you use LeBron. <laughs> but no, this is my favorite, favorite highlight for this season because of the color. And let me just, if you don't know, let me just show you. So I'm a huge Jackie Aina fan. Um, it's by Jackie Aina with Artist Couture. And they have really, really nice. Look at that. Oh my god. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Sorry for being janky and not recording the entire thing. <laughs> I will leave all of the details in the description box of everything that I use and links to get it. Hopefully we can create some more looks, some complete looks, and not stop the video. Because people want to be late coming to pick you up. Um... <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Um, also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ashlation. And let me know if you try any of the colors or any of the products that I use today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Any last words here? You are in this video, regardless. It's your fault that I didn't finish the makeup, to be honest. Because you left late. Let's not get into that, because I could slay you on your own video right now. There's Lena. Star. Why would you? Really see me. <laughs> Say hey. On the glow. It take like, <laughs> like 20 minutes to focus. Fenty booty. Fenty booty. Fenty booty. <laughs>